Strict Beats. Welcome, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Yo, uh, today's video we're gonna be taking. <laughs> Excuse me, I get this so bad. It's like I feel like every time I wake up, or if it's later on during the end of the day, that you know I have to do that. But that gets on my nerves. It's like always feel like something's stopping me from breathing or talking or something like that. So today's video, unfortunately, today's video is gonna be this right here. I'm gonna be seeing if I can disassemble this guy right here. That is going to be the AC duck. Here we go again. That's going to be the AC duck or whatever you want to call it. The AC for uh, holding the antifreeze and all that. You know where the antifreeze goes. That's how it that charges or whatever. You, you know keep it cold or wherever. That's what the antifreeze not the antifreeze oh my god the coolant for the ac the, i forgot what it's freaking called it's I'm freaking been like retarded and it's not it's not coolant it's uh it is antifreeze or is it oh well whatever um so i'm gonna be doing next day crazy thing as i was looking for what I was looking for I ran across some other stuff and I didn't realize the stuff that I had I didn't know I had you know it's just how you look for something and when you're looking for something you find something else and with me finding something else I I'm just gonna say I found a intake well no no it um a turbo manifold for a GSR setup and didn't realize that I had that still. I thought I got rid of that. I still have that GSR setup. So I might be invested in me a GSR or do a B20 LS or GSR swap, something like that. I haven't decided, but you know, I have certain things that for the GSR setup, for the LS swap, you know, so it just, trying to find another car to put it in besides the one I'm working on. Sorry about the spoiler alert, but at the same time, you know, hey, that's going to be probably one of my future builds after I get this build done. So I'm going to tell you this right now that I'm not going to finish the intake manifold on the H22 setup because I can't find my other things and I don't have any, um, sandpaper so what I'm going to do I'm going to work on my AC duck and we're going to save that for another video and getting the other stuff done it's just I am doing stuff sporadically like I said it's just whenever I, whatever I see I'm doing it but this one's going to take a little bit so I'm going to grab the um, air conditioner uh, whatever you want to call it that holds all the stuff and see if we can take that part and empty that out and then go from there so let's pause this real quick and then we'll come right back i do i do i do i do want to say i found something and i didn't know i had this about i sold it but um i do remember on my setup i was doing before that i didn't uh, ever do um i wound up uh buying something and never using it on the car so this is going to be put on the uh the intake manifold. I found this guy right here. Um, I would say this is a cheapie. Uh, I think I bought it a while back off of AutoZone. 
uh, I, I'm in AutoZone, Amazon, and uh, I never put it in the car. It's just been sitting uh, in a box, and I thought it was kind of cool. I just had it. Hopefully it works. Um, it works like it's supposed to, but it's been in this box for quite a while. And uh, if you've seen the other video of me talking about taking some parts off my uh, intake, my other intake manifold, then you will see that it, it did. I what I did is I did a high flow intake manifold setup, and I took this off. But I thought I threw it away, and I didn't accordingly according to this. So this I'm going to put somewhere where I can. It. I might throw it in the car, but I'll probably just put it right there. Um, you didn't see where I put it, but I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Uh, go ahead and get this set up. You know, get this right here done. Oops, I forgot to put that back in the box. But get this done and get it taken apart. And hopefully, we can take it apart and then give me an idea if I'll be able to leave it like this or have to do something different. This was the piece uh, that goes to this guy right here. It goes slides in just like that. But I don't know if I'm going to be using that piece. I might cut a piece off. Or. Try to cut it off. And cut it off and then plug it up that way. I think I'm going to cut it off because some fact is if I use that then I might as well run it back down into the uh, back out the side of the car. So I think I'm going to try to cut that off and uh, cut it off and uh, plug it up that way. So let's just cut it off and we'll plug it up. Hold on.
now that I glued it, hopefully it'll hold. Uh, they got a little dirt on it. Hopefully it'll hold. And if you see uh, when I soldered, not soldered, but uh, when I melted that right there, uh, hopefully that'll hold. Uh, I'm trying to figure out something for this right here. I was going to use the pieces that came off the uh, the cooler, for the thing, the antifreeze, or whatever, where the holds the thing that holds the antifreeze. I forgot what it's called, but anyway, I want to say the motor or whatever you want to call it. The thing that holds the antifreeze. The antifreeze. Oh my God, the freon. The thing that holds the freon. I was going to take the pieces off of there and put them in there and kind of like do the same thing, but that's not going to work. I'm going to have to do. Uh, maybe like some cardboard or you know something to that extent of trying to figure out how to get that to work I think cardboard might work out for me better and then I can just glue the cardboard to the plastic and hopefully that will be cold aesthetic and it will work um, that this like I said it's just like the way it's set up I mean the way it's set up you know I can clean that right there clean those little, little grooves and then cut me a piece of, cut me a piece of cardboard Cut me a piece of cardboard and then glue it here after I cleaned up, you know, cleaned up and glue it on there and then put it in those little grooves. Uh, I don't know if you can see where it slides, where it slides and put it in that groove to where, um, to where when I put this on, when it slides in, when it slides in, I turn it the right way. When it slides in, it will catch here and here, and then it'll still have, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll come a little closer, uh, those grooves that's in there, those grooves, I don't know if you can see the grooves, but there's grooves right there, might need to clean it out, but those little grooves uh, that are like lined up to this all the way around, it's grooves that, you know, that goes, and maybe that will be feasible enough to get a good um, seal on what I'm trying to do and um, I don't have any um, I might just use not cardboard more like a plastic type deal but I don't have any of that right now I will have to go to the store and get that and I will just do that on another video and I am going to go ahead and I'm thinking, I'm, my mind is like going, and I had all this stuff planned out on what I want to do today, but um, I really, really want to um, sand the bay, but I don't have everything to do that, and um, if you've seen on Earth of this earlier clip that the DA I was using wasn't feasible for what I was trying to do, and I might just have to get in and go ahead and get some sandpaper and sand it by hand to the best of my abilities and use the other angle grinder with the smaller uh, bits on it to get to get where I want to get get the smaller ones of this I have smaller ones I just don't know where they are um, I have a box of them 50 of them I don't remember where I put them um, maybe that would help with that and um, go ahead and get everything cut like my power steering pump lines and all this stuff cut move my clutch line move that back uh, remove my just, just, just remove everything out the engine bay like I was supposed to uh, redo re remove my brake booster because I'm doing a different brake booster I won't say on here what brake booster I'm going to do you just gonna have to stay tuned, subscribe, and all that good stuff to see what I'm doing from there. Um, I did say I was thinking about taking out my AC, my AC. Think about taking out my heater, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna remove um, the heater core for now. That way, so when I get the engine bay done, I can just slap all that stuff back in and go from there and get that, make everything code of stake on that behalf. Um, I know in previous videos I did say I deleted my. Um, ABS, I gotta go through and remove some wires and go in the inside and remove the panel on the passenger side and take the um, ABS, uh, what I guess wires and stuff out of there and take the brain out of there um, because yeah, take the brain out of there and there's some more stuff I was supposed to do and hopefully get this build 
going and getting it back on the road I did do a video talking about how long it's taking me it's just things are not going according to my plans so it's pushing me behind on everything I want to do so if you guys really just bear with me I promise this build will you know soon be done I'm not gonna say how soon I just don't know I just say I want to get it done soon but at the same time it's just I'm running into some issues with certain things and you know we're not having the proper tools and things to get things done it's just pushing me back so enough of me talking here I'm going to end this video I'm going to say follow me on Facebook and Instagram Twitter and Tumblr and if you like this video hit the hit the thumbs up button hit the thumbs up hit the thumbs up just hit the thumbs up and if uh, if you would do me a solid go ahead and share this video with your friends if you like this video share it with your friends post it on and, and if you would like repost it on any social media that you would like to help me get my views up that would be greatly appreciated and um, what else Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.